Hi guys. Okay, so I have a box of miscellaneous things. I like to split it up from my monthly empties because I go through these a lot slower and I like to have, you know, a video of non-beauty items because some people don't want to see a dishwasher soap. Some people don't want to see a hand soap. And so I decided to do a miscellaneous empties because I saw someone else that had the same video idea as I did. No, they had the same video and I had that same idea as well, but I didn't do it, if you know what I'm talking Anyways, about. Anyways, I collected these miscellaneous empties that are non-beauty, so for one of you, these are non-beauty. Um, these are just things you would find randomly that you use, kind of similar to beauty, but it's not beauty. Um, and they're not for one month, they are maybe two months or three months and I have not done a miscellaneous empty since I moved here to this new place and I moved in when did I move August or July so it's been a few months since I did the last so one. I have collected all of them in this parents choice baby wipes box because if you're wondering these are the baby wipes that I get for swatches so hence if you're looking for swatch items look for baby wipes because they're so much cheaper than makeup wipes i only say use makeup wipes when you find a product that is just bad and you have a makeup wipe anyways if you're interested in seeing what is inside this box then please keep on watching the first thing that i'm gonna pull out here is looks like a bunch of soaps so this are miscellaneous soaps and there's actually little stories to this so we'll start with this one this is the Savon Des Belez Fresh Cotton Hand Soap. I've had this for a very, very long time. I know exactly when I bought these. I bought these in October or November of 2000. And, how? Take them higher with you. 2010. And because I got a gift card and I bought a whole bunch of these from Bath, not Bath and Body Works. What did I get these? Uh, Bed Bath and Beyond and they were only like a dollar and I think I went by just the other day as well and I saw them for a dollar as well so they haven't risen in price so if you want some liquidy soap then go over there. I won't be buying this again but I guess it did its job. The Satin Care Olay with a touch of Olay Sensible Shave Gel. So I got this in like a, a set I think. It was fine, um, it did the job. I can't honestly say that I cut my legs afterwards because I still got nicks when I shaved and cut my legs. When I shaved my legs, I still got cuts on it. Does that make any sense? All right, so we have another shave gel. This is the EOS Shave Gel Southern Fluid Ounce in Vanilla Bliss. I didn't like the smell at all. I like the pink one better. And the only thing I don't like is these containers. They're cute containers and they're great for grasping in the shower, but I literally can still feel stuff in here and I cannot get it out. And I've tried untwisting the top here and I still can't like get it out. And so that's the bummer. You can't really squeeze it, so <sighs> whatever. Um, we have a bath poof. Um, do you know you're supposed to change these every 30 days because of bacteria? in the trash that day. So I never really put these in here at all, at all, in these videos because I don't put household stuff in here. But I wanted to show you this. This was the soap that I used for my clothes. Um, I loved the smell of this in my clothes afterwards. Um, I have a stackable washer and dryer now, not full size, and these worked awesome um, for them. Um, so if you're in the market for a good scented uh, laundry soap, then use this. Um, these are the Pods Moonlight EP ordering in here. This is the Dove Clinical Protection. I really like this. This is the Claritone, so if you're looking for a good deodorant, it worked. It made my pit smell nice. A Bath and Body Works soap. We have Pumpkin Caramel Latte and Mango Hibiscus. This is the old packaging. This is the new packaging, I believe. Yeah. So I liked the um, 
scent of pomo caramel latte in the bottle and not on the hands. And the mango hibiscus was a good fruity smell. Um, you know, nothing spectacular, but so there's two of those. And they're sticky. We have some toothpaste. This is the 3D White. This was the Holy Grail toothpaste that I was using for a long, long time. Um, and I stopped using it because I decided to go more eco-friendly and not have a bunch of crap in it for your body. So um, I'm no longer buying this one, but if you're looking for a good toothpaste and you don't care what type of toothpaste you have as long as it does a good job is I definitely would get this but I would suggest the glamorous white because I remember back in the days I had bought the 3D whites as well and this is the luxe version and it was a different flavor and it was so gross it tasted literally moldy so um yeah I would suggest the glamorous white it's a good toothpaste. I like it. Um, here's the EOS that I really, really like. This is the pomegranate raspberry. Again, I can still feel that there's stuff in there. Um, this one says you can shave wet or dry. I just, I don't like the containers and I probably could like combine them if I really wanted to, but you have to like literally shake it out to get the product. But this is the one that I prefer, not only because it's a pink bottle and it looks cute in the shower, but it's just that the scent's better and it doesn't really nauseate me like the other one. And the Apt Braces Care, I was using this for my braces. Um, it says helps loosen particles, prevents white spots and cavities. I don't know if it's going to prevent it or not because um, my braces are still on, I guess you could say. Um, a lot of people have asked how long I've had my braces on. And I have had my braces on for um, three, four, five, like 19 months. So they're they're getting to be soon to be two years in March. I think I got them in March. It was either February, or March. But um, if you got braces and you're looking for a like mouthwash for it, I would suggest that one. It tasted good and it did a good job. So I think it's been about two months since I did. Uh, empties because I'm looking and counting mouthwash bottles. Um, next one is the Tom's Whole Care Fluoride. It doesn't really matter if it's fluoride or brightening or whatnot. I like the whitening one a lot better, but this is the toothpaste that I changed to. Um, I think this was my first tube. I'm almost through the one that I have now, so it has been a long time since I did one of these empties. Um, this is the Whole Care Peppermint. So um, this one was my first starting out one that I had. Um, actually, this could be my second one. I don't know. I'd have to look back at my previous empties. Um, but I really like the Tom's brand. Um, it's something that I will continue to repurchase. Plus, it's good for you, and it's not full of bunch of chemicals. And then the last thing I have is Tom's mouthwash. This is the Wicked Fresh in Cool Mountain Mint. Again, this was something that you have to get used to. It tastes a lot like sodium in the beginning, but... Um, I'm used to it now. I have a bottle that I'm going through right now in my bathroom and I really like it. Um, you feel a little better and you know that you're not putting a bunch of crap in your in your body that you shouldn't be. Well, you can, but if you want to feel a little better then I would suggest these. So, um, the Toms of Maine Wicked Fresh. So that is my miscellaneous empties for a few months. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Let's me know that I'm doing a good job and everything's looking good. Um, if you're not subscribed, I would love it if you would subscribe so you can see my journey and quest through my videos. Other than that, I will see you in my next video. You guys have a wonderful night.